Oh, what's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Grand Columbia. And in this episode, we have consolidated our territory around the Oqua, and we are now at war with the Quebecians and the Huron. Uh, the Brits are still allied with us, but we've got some good territory in the north to capture. Uh, our forces are consolidating around Cayuga, ready to push uh, against Quebec, who have marched to meet us. We're holding off there where we've managed to uh, blockade the city of Quebec itself. Well, not blockaded exactly, but we pre prevented the flow of troops across the river. Um, and I probably want to make sure I keep recruiting. Gun artillery, artillery, how it's uh, how it's uh, yeah, that'll do. Um, apart from that, there's not a lot we can really do. We're waiting for a Spanish army to attack us, but that doesn't appear to be coming. So right now, ooh, Fort Nashwick has a force. They could push and try and take Falmouth. Um, but I'm not really concerned. We've got a good amount of troops in the region, as well as this army heading west towards Santa Fe to knock out a small French territory, and they'll probably head north towards Yankton. Quebec have they gone past that city? No. Quebec bringing more troops to bear. Let's get ready to push. We might have to take a turn or so of uh, recruitment to replenish our uh, forces. But apart from that, we're in a really good position. We've got a strong economy. We need to keep on moving. Austria is our enemy. We do need to boost our navy to more robustly deal with potential enemy incursions. But apart from that, this campaign is going really well. I'm probably reaching the point where I'm going to need to start considering future offensive options. And I think Lisbon and Spain is probably going to be where I go. We are already at war with Spain, or, or at least, if, if nothing, if at the very least, Spain is a sufficiently small empire that we can fairly confidently attack them. I believe we either are or will be... Actually, might be at war with Spain. Ah, yes, we're already at war with... Pardon me. Already at war with Portugal because they stood by their Native American allies. So Lisbon is a perfect opportunity to expand. And the capture of Lisbon and then Madrid may actually provoke Britain to declare war on us uh, as they will as we'll share a border with them with Gibraltar. So landing in Western Europe could precipitate quite a significant uh, conflict although i'm hoping we'll have a bit of time to fortify the border with prussia and may and much well, generally consolidate our control over spain we can also attack savoy and take their territories as well we could also invade uh, austrian lands but let's not get ahead of ourselves let's Focus on the task at hand rather than thinking too much about what's going to happen in the future. 33,000. So we've got some raids. You're going to head. So this depleted army. Okay, what's the best way to organize this? You're going to continue towards the Huron. You're probably going to head... You might even move this way, just to hedge against these fellows. Let's... Hmm, what's the best option? I think let's send you around... Like this... You hold here to prevent them from crossing. Oh, if you can, it actually appears you cannot. So this force, let's take a significant contingent. To be honest, as many as we can away, really. You men head north, ready to garrison here. Probably want to bolster the garrison at Boston, because that force is heading our way. That's a decent force. That'll deal with anything that's coming our way. 
Okay, let's get two units of foot artillery, a light and a heavy cav. Let's recruit some more infantry. Something like that. 25,000. Send the second rates around to support the blockade of Quebec. Get two more second rates on the go. Yeah, we're not bothered about the Quebec Navy. Okay, building. Panama. Got a good amount of towns in America, so our economy will be fairly robust, even if we start getting into issues um, with our trade network being disrupted. And you're 100% Catholic, so you can deal with getting rid of your church school. Move the agent over to Cayuga. Oh, like almost a tiny. <laughs> Actually, that's. They're completely okay. Was there religious unrest that significant? Holy moly. We now no, no longer have to worry about. Oh no, sorry. My garrison are back in. No one. That, that's why they're happy. I thought, man, do they just really love Catholicism? So you're pushing on. You're gonna. Well, we want to get here and push up, and then I'll bring this army across, and they'll both push to Montreal together. I'm not going to do any building, because that's just going to be fodder for raids. You just push towards Santa Fe. Okay, I may. Crew a general. Their job is going to be to hold here, build a small force as a bit of a garrison against a uh, Mexican push from Texas. As everyone knows, all my exes live in Texas. 9,000, that's a good amount of cash. Let's get some... some fourth-rate ships of the line recruited for this navy. You were going to go over to a trade fleet, weren't you? But you can hold here for now. Lots of good recruitment. One more turn till we get Puddling Furnace. Is that Puddling Furnace? Yes, it is. Just a flat, flat discount for artillery, more wealth for metalworking buildings, which is great. Uh, you're going to... So you, you want to stay where you are until this territory is at least under siege, then you'll push up to Moose Factory, secure a couple more towns, plus two more fur traders, fur trappers, to add more goods to the export market. Cool. I believe that is everything, although... So you've got you got garrisons, that's fine. Let's add some native musket militia units here, otherwise it'll feel like we're not really using them. Okay, let's hit enter. Yep, there. It appears they're not necessarily seeking war with us. The Huron have pushed out ahead of us. Ah, oh, this army's not coming in to reinf- wait. How did you come over, pop over there? Either way, their entire army is not coming in to get us. Let's destroy this reconnaissance force as we continue our advance. Um, I'd very much like to attack and destroy the British possessions, uh, but that will likely be a longer term aspiration while we push into Europe. What I need, what I need to get better at is just keep recruiting armies. Just keep recruiting. There is no incentive to stop. Just keep going. And because they are on the offensive, we're going to go on the defensive, throw them back through sheer weight of musketry. I mean, it's not great for... Well, it's fine. So I just want to create a bit of an anchor, stop them from flanking our line. 
regulars out here. We have two of our own melee units. Force artillery. We might go back here and just plink. Howitzers make ready melee cavalry rather than skirmish cavalry. Get ready to push out. Skirmish cavalry will hold the flank. Skirmishers help hold the flank. My actual melee cavalry push out and try and identify the enemy. I mean, this chief's bodyguard unit is going to soak up all the artillery fire. Sixteen. Hello. Yep, you've realised your aura. your general can't be exposed to that sort of. Hello. Trot you guys back. Here they come. Or at least some of them. Actually, it's to make my howitzers bombard Chief's bodyguard. I've got artillery in the line to deal with these fellows. Oh, militia unit. Yeah, get, get back to the safety the far end of the woods. Hey. What's your... What are you up to, matey boy? First unit's been driven back. Bring these native warriors over here. Heavy cavalry charge the Native American warriors. Native cavalry charge in. Warriors push in, the regulars cease fire. I mean, we should 100% withdraw, but while the morale. While the enemy's morale is stacking up, or well, morale problems are stacking up, I should say. Okay, let's push up our right flank. With the support of our melee infantry, we may be able to get them to break entirely. Clone your light cab, chase down the native warriors. Saturated by musket fire elsewhere. Excellent. That's what I wanted to see. Native American warriors withdraw. These irregulars can fire on into the backs of those native warriors are routing. No, don't chase after them. Well, not these units anyway, these men fall back. Charge! Push, 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 push! Hey, they've made it to our lines. Push in. Gunners withdraw. Actually, maybe make the cavalry charge in. Get my general out. Howitzers engage those native warriors. Charging in the rear. Hopefully we should start to see some enemy units get a bit upset. And my general's going to commit as well. Yes, he's the deciding factor. Ah, oh, he fell on his sword. He did so well. These men are getting picked off by the regular musket troops. Not that bothered this general fell. You 
going for the garrison bowmen. There's an artillery is going to go after the general bodyguard. See, they're doing it again. The AI is getting into a habit of... Or has got into a habit of... Deciding that, you know what? I don't want to engage you. I'm going to slowly run away. And as soon as you turn away... Haha! Like, I get it. It's working out that charging in the rear is safer than charging in the front. But it's frustrating because it means they never actually sit and engage your troops. They even charge those warriors. You're looking at the wrong guys. You want to look at the yellow-coated guys behind you. They'll, check, they'll catch you up because their energy stays better. You charge into this unit of Native American warriors. Charge it! swarming. We want to continue because these men are on the campaign map. Even though I have been told that shattering a unit destroys on the campaign map. I'm sure I've seen instances where that doesn't happen. So better to be safe. Better to be safe and kill them all. Although strictly speaking I suppose it is better to let depleted units escape so they'll they will not generate a full garrison unit, but... Ah, uh, well. Sometimes fun things happen in life when you're being stupid. Come on, attack the native warriors. Take them out. There's only one left. Finally. Nice. Conclusive victory. So that's destroyed their leading element that was attempting to go after us. They killed my general, but I do not believe it will save them. Britain is readying up. Are they going to pick that army up? No, apparently not. Well, oh, now they're going to go. Where are they going to go? Are they going to land? <gasps> We're invading Copenhagen. Oh, they're invading Copenhagen. Whoop, whoop. Go to Britain. I mean, they're a bit late. They've probably they've attacked it twice by now, at least. But still, better late than never. It is interesting if that kicks off. Actually, wait, wait. Who owns Copenhagen? The Swedish, not the Prussians. Hmm, curious. It'd be interesting to see if they do it. Other than that, other than that uh, no. Other than that, there is just... There is just squabbling. Okay, it is... Can't even see who owns it. I think it must be Sweden, right? It must be. So I don't remember the flag. <laughs> I don't remember seeing the flag uh, when they landed troops. Yeah, Russia's just being a bit anemic in its response to most of its strategic challenges. It's finally getting around to repairing those uh, buildings in St. Petersburg. The Persian Navy are in the Adriatic. That's cool. No, they've, they've had a look around and realised this is not what we wanted to do at all. And they're off. Let's see if Sweden responds to Britain. To Britain's overall invasion. Hmm. If they did, we didn't get to see it. Okay, so. First of all. Let's recruit a new general. Federico de Mercado. 
Yes, so they, they will get... They have got a large so army there, so we may actually hold and allow my replenishment to continue. This army just stormed towards Montreal. This army that was interested in, interested in Fort Nashwack is actually going to decamp from Boston. Embark aboard ship. And go for Quebec, because Quebec is completely undefended. It's completely undefended. We can land here, run straight down and take it. Well, after we've sailed around this fella. Big mistake. Well, see, look, if I right click, it immediately wants to sail my troops down there and it'll take them an extra turn. Don't fall for that. Not when you can disembark at the port. And these guys have not moved very far. Will you just let us have it? No, you will not. You will make us fight for it. And that is fine. Let's take one of these. I think I heavy first and recruit an admiral. We don't need these guys here anymore to guard the port. They'll go back to Boston while we recruit a guard ship. So I would presume I can chase both these guys off fairly well with just this force. Almost 100% falsism already, which is nice. That's why we're recruiting troops here in Philadelphia. If you want to come at us, we'll get a minor garrison. You might not even, you're not, I don't think you're close enough to stop us anyway. More troops. Um, so we've got Puddling Furnace. It's gone on to Seed Planting Drill. Which isn't terrible. It reduces the cost of building plantations. Which, because we've still got a bunch of plantations to build. That's pretty good. More plantations comes from Wealth of Nations, does it? Or is it from... Oh, have I already got... No, I haven't got top tier plantations. Or maybe I do. Uh, yeah, so we do. Doesn't really matter then. Uh, right. You're going to hold. Build up your strength. Defend against any that come after us, which they probably won't. Su Majestad. You can just try to infiltrate. Mirare. The city. Okay. Apart from that, Yorktown. Add some third rates in. Pop down to here. Still got to build. Okay. Warehouse. There's a farm, I'm sure. Oh, that's all we can get because we haven't got collective breeding. You build a craft workshop. We're going to hold fire on doing any more building because we've got Quebec to take, and that's quite a big blunder. We can take Quebec pretty, pretty easily. You're all going to storm up to Montreal. You could actually get involved in these actions. Maybe you will. Maybe you might drive in from the east to see if they stop us. Okay, first, okay, let's tidy up Quebec first. Let's show them that there is no home to go back to. They'll be pushed back from this battle thinking, well, don't worry, at least we can go back to Quebec and everything's okay. What's that yellow flag doing over it? Oh no, that's gone horribly wrong. Why did we declare war on them? I mean, it's fair enough they declared war on us. We were about to we were going to declare war on them. Uh, they just got a chance to jump on us before our troops were in position. But Quebec will be one of my northern strongholds. I think Boston and Philadelphia will be my recruitment centre. Okay, so it's going to take a little bit longer. 
to knock our way in, but knock our way in we shall. All my artillery is useful. Effectively, because the enemy garrison is tiny. One howitzer is enough to do plenty of damage. Yeah, you shoot at the mortars in the center. Firing round shot, so I'm not entirely convinced of their efficacy. But it's something at least. When we attack, we will swarm. We'll swarm all of the walls. Don't allow their mortars to concentrate. Hey, we killed the guy. Nice. Just need to make sure my Native American troops are first in the breach. Although, although they got less charge bonus, but a lot more melee attack, but a lot less defense. So I think my Native American mercenaries are probably technically better in the breach, maybe. Well, let's send our melee troops in. What's the point of having melee troops if you don't send them to do melee troop things? We may manage to knock out some of the 2nd Regiment of Militia, because they can't decide quite what they want to do. Although it will take two more salvos. That'd be good. We'll kill even more if they stay like that. It might actually be two more from now, potentially. Ah, oh, so close. Boom, 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 boom. Arg. Okay. Okay, these three units. Push up and hold a hold short of the breach. These men storm up. You men storm here. You men storm here. Push my cavalry up on the right. So these guys were wavering. We've killed five, six crewmen. Hey, not got a gun. Excellent. Yeah, they're getting ready to fire. Yeah, you're gonna have to do some work, matey boy. Fire as she bears. Yeah, the intention is you provide the blocking force allow some mercenaries to scale the walls on one flank new men scale here You're doing some weird formation, pushing in to scale the walls. Once we start climbing up, they will... Eh, do you even wait? Hey, you men. Advance fire will off. General advance up. The militia are very upset. Mercenaries are going to go in second. That militia unit's done. Push in. And the Native Americans are first through the breach. Charge them. They're going to mob us at the breach. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Sorry about that. Oh no, no, don't do that. Don't shoot them. No, 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 no. Okay, 
So we're going to lose many men in the breach. This militia unit saw the error of their ways. They're going to be my reserve. American mercenaries are starting to climb up on one flank. Once you men take the gate, my cavalry will pour in and knock out the mortars. Probably easy to have this unit take the gate and this unit run through, but scaling the walls is more fun. If I make you men run here, you should spread out. I'd like these guys to be in a position to shoot down onto the combat. There we go, here comes the chug. Okay, how it's a uh, ceasefire. Actually, how it's a uh, shoot into the into the fight. You might be able to drop shells right on top of them. Let's see. They might slam it into my own guys, but let's let's be a bit risky. I figure there's a large block of enemy troops. Yeah, they overshot to be safe. Basically everybody. Don't worry about the men on the wall. Just uh, don't worry about these guys. Leave them alone. Something like this. One last garrison artilleryman, good. So you're just going to hold the breach, or hold the centre. When these last men are up, they're going to shoot into the combat and it's going to be beautiful. That's right, don't worry about the fight. Don't worry about the artillery, it's fine, it's only ours. Native Warrior Auxiliary have done and not in very good shape at all. The mercenaries are a lot better. Come on, men. Your men are all up here now. Mount fire step. Oh, you were about to do it. Oh, there we go. Pour fire onto them, the maggots. They're being shot out from the barracks. They didn't like that. No sir. None of them. They all hated it. If the 72nd get in position in time, you're gonna get there's gonna be a whole lot more where that came from. Although I don't think there will be. There's only 25 seconds to go. Oh, you're not going to make it. You're not going to climb over the wall in time. It's up to you, 76. Reload and fire. Come on, position. A couple of musket shots ring out. Taking the city, not that it was a particularly, particularly crazy idea. Yeah. Knock it out. So that's their capital. Destroyed. Have they got any. Ooh, there's a full army over there. No universities to worry about. We're not going to worry about um, repairing anything. We're just going to. We're just going to replenish our troops in case you about face and come after us.
Although, I don't think it's going to be a big problem. You. March here first, then smash. Uh, Hilly. Hilary Chamillard. That French guy. Two armies. Lots of troops. Weak cavalry. Militia. And lots of artillery coming up behind them. I think this is going to be fine. We're going to chase them down and... Well, we can destroy the bulk of their power, really. Then one of these armies can head up towards Maine uh, rapidly, because we're already pushing up onto Montreal as well. I believe in me. <laughs> yeah, this will break the, the back of the Quebec forces. We are going to march at them and they've got lots of artillery if we push them we can more easily wipe them out my native contingent on the left backed up by my dragoons general hold the center Artillery just pick away at their cavalry. They steal a march on us and advance up. That is fine. Yeah, like the light cabs pushing up, it's fine. Let you guys keep on running up. Oops, you changed your mind. Artillery engage different targets. We've somewhat split our army in half because we've got a bunch of troops in squares. And that's entirely reasonable. We've still got our two separate divisions effectively create that are in position. Push you men up to fill in the gaps because you've got more cavalry coming. Who are you going for? Are you going for the 42nd? You are going for the 42nd. Okay, how it's fire. Engage this enormous block of mercenaries. Okay, let's go, you men. Go after the horse artillery at range. These mercenaries just mowing down the light cav. General's bodyguard looks upset. Oh, we're all unhappy about the enemy friend about the friendly fire artillery. Focus all our fire on the guns while we figure ourselves out. You will return. Fill in the gaps. Address. Okay. There we go, they came back. Getting them back in the formation. Get the artillery to focus on the infantry block. I can see their cavalry chasing down mine. You, what are you upset about? It must have been artillery fire. Okay, you men push up. Cavalry might cause some problems, but 
in general it's going to be okay. Bring my native flank up. Howitzers smash the line. Put artillery smash this unit of mercenaries. They're drawing in uh, a lot of their cavalry. Let's, let's expand our concentration against the centre but also maintain our momentum towards the enemy reinforcement point native warriors and the bowmen keep pushing the musketmen engage I mean, it must admit I don't want to be engaged in combat here but any longer than I really need to my cavalry are just exhausted We can knock out the second, then move over onto the eighth. Actually, you can go after them, native bowmen go after them. This might work to both of our favours. Okay, let's try to get the fourth out of there. The enemy route is pretty complete. We can push up towards where the enemy reinforcements come in from. Enemy gunners are trying to return to their guns, but they won't do too much of that. We can effectively run past the enemy guns or run through them. So we need to start surrounding where they're coming in. Yeah, my cavalry just okay. My cavalry just run, read him. Oh, that's here. He's just out of range. Warm artillery limber up. Not a huge deal. Bowman take position behind the line. Get my infantry in position. move the guns up although they are probably going to be out of action for the remainder of the fight. Holy second are engaging or beginning to engage some of the colonial militia. But now here comes my infantry line. Okay you fired so now you can advance. Put the sixth regiment on the flank. Mercenaries, go after the general's bodyguard. They're right there. Same with you, native warrior auxiliary. Teach this colonial swine. Get my mercenaries back on the back in the front. Got him. Well, the general is giving inspiring commands, I'm sure. Okay, bow fire is up. The men reload. Here comes a bit of a mass charge. Some 
good around town. You can stay where you are because the Colonial Dragoons are on their way. Take the ground. Don't allow them to consolidate and move back. trying to get my native troops back, engaging the dragoons, but they've had enough. Can swoop these dragoons around and start mopping up the enemy artillery. These two units form square in the event that they fall, they fail to uh, stem the cavalry attack. Yeah, the, the square broke. Bowmen move over. Warriors move over. Same with the general. And the muscular regulars aren't getting used. Their cavalry intercepted my cavalry. Nope, but that is the end of their force. Swarm them. The new men smash the 8th Regiment of Artillery. You fools. You don't see all your countrymen running away. in good order, which is unfortunate, but we can't have everything, can we? Crush, kill, destroy. Excellent, there goes the eighth. And I believe that is everyone. Nice. Eh, it wasn't a close victory. We've got an entire other army in reserve that hasn't even been used yet, so... Let's not go crazy with calling things not not just complete overwhelming victories. Okay, push. You men replenish and then hold the crossing. Excellent. Could still cause some problems for us um, near Boston, but next time we're going to get some more recruitment. You're ready to jump up and destroy the these two armies then head towards Fort Nashwack. Cool, let's hit N10. More recruitment. Oh, that's the general, isn't it? Yes, it is. We want to put a fortification there. <gasps> Are they going to... Go on, Quebec. Please, please invade Britain. That would be really funny. Oh, my God. They are. Oh, what a time. What a time to not... To, to attack Quebec. That's a real kick in the knackers, because that, I haven't... They, although they haven't done it. They've got two full armies sat ready, primed. An army in Bristol and an army in Greenwich. And neither of them are being committed into the action. And Britain's going to clearly be a problem, or become a problem, so I need to make sure my navies are all up together in the Caribbean. Can't have all their colonial armies pushing out and attacking us like a bunch of cancerous cells. They need to be nicely bottled up, prevented from uh, being committed into the fight. Oops, sorry, I've been tapping on my desk. Yeah. Prussia, you're the current preeminent power, but Britain's doing some interesting moves. They've taken North Africa, they've taken Copenhagen. Will they push in towards Stockholm and Christiana? That would be fun. The Marathas are going to attack someone. It could well be me. I mean, Ceylon is ripe for capturing as well, but there is a limit to what we can do. 
We can only expand so fast and attack so many, so many territories at once. It's like Russia's... Russia's being Russia, I must admit. I haven't seen Russia be play a significant role in a on the campaign map for a long time, at least you know, beyond being a giant pain in the backside late game. Nine Malukes. Eh, money. Why money so low? Could someone die? Agent recruited, a rake in New France. Trade route raided. 13,000. Oh, ah. So the Portuguese are doing raiding, and it's very effective. Raid in Mohawk. I'm not interested. Stomp them. Yeah, very depleted army. They're falling back towards Quebec. Yeah, you men, or these, this navy rather. Move back to Yorktown, pick up some extra strength. Two third rates, you can roughly get away with about five overall. Let's have a flagship. Let's do that. Although, we don't have much money. Because the damn Portuguese. You're nearby, aren't you? Should be okay for a turn. You're 100% Catholic. Montreal's 100% Catholic. Quebec needs to become Catholic. Okay, upgrade, upgrade. Happiness building, craft workshop. In one turn, you'll be occupied and then you'll be docile again. Preparados! You're in pretty good condition now. You can start to see... Are oh, you in good condition? You're in okay condition. You start to siege them. Aha! We have been intercepted. That's not great. That's not great at all. Um, but, looking at the timer, I think it'd probably be best if I fight this in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time while we see what happens here. See you, everyone.